Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan, I'm a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict, and I wanna thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by to check out my video today. This is a yarn and crochet channel where we talk about all things yarn and all things crochet, so if that interests you, please sit back and watch this video because today, my friends, I offer you another session of Whipping It With Juan. So if you're new to this, Literally, all I do is sit here in this chair, I crochet, and I talk to you guys about all the things. So my ammunition are the questions that I get off of social media. So whether that's YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, you name it, it's fair game. You ask me a question there, I bring it here, and I talk to you guys about it while I crochet. So before I jump into that, I kind of want to show you the whip that I'm working on today. So this is a project that I'm working on. I've showcased this a few times on my channel, you know, and its progress. So I think we are 14 skeins in. And just to recap, I am using these little skeins from Premier Just Yarn. So when I originally showed this off, I told you guys that I had a bunch of these in a huge Michaels bag, right? So let me get that. So it was in this big Michael's bag here, filled to the top, right? <laughs> and so in order for me to work this, I said, well, I'm just gonna reach in the bag and pull out a color, and that's the color I work with. No rhyme, no reason. I'm gonna continue doing that until I feel it's big enough to say it's done. So just yesterday, I get a gift in Happy Mail from Sharita, a friend of the channel, from Texas and I open it up and I laugh and I have all the giggles and all the things because I love this bag she sent me. Well, as you can see, that red Michael's bag is a lot lighter than it normally is because I moved all of those, well, a lot of those into this new bag and I'm in love with it. Like, I love this bag. <laughs> so this is the bag. I love crochet and I have the balls to prove it. <laughs> So I put a bunch of them in there, and so for the remainder of this project, I will be pulling these out of here. So there's that. <laughs> Thanks again, Sharita. I really appreciate it. When I first opened it up, I wasn't sure who the person was who sent this to me, so I said in the video, can someone reach out to me and let me know if you know, you're the person, so on and so forth. So she did, um, in the video and in an email. So... I responded to both, and yes, thank you so much, Sharita. I love this bag. Anyway, so before I started filming, I went ahead and selected the color that will be worked in today's video. So this colorway here is persimmon, right? It's all the things. I mean, I love all the colors. I love all the colors. So look, it came right out. No big deal. And I'm working with my... Um, six millimeter furls hook. Um, these are the discontinued ones, the Odysseys. I love this hook. Love it, love it, love it. And let me just show you the blanket. Oh, Chip and Dale. <laughs> so hold on, squirrel, right? So Chip and Dale, they're buddies, right? And so I know Chip and Dale's, you know, they were chipmunks, they weren't squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. You know what I mean? Chip came first and then Dale. It was only the right way to do that. So they're friends. There's that. And, and my friends, I just went off on this whole tangent because I saw that. And so I just, I have to get this out. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to. Hold on. So Chip and Dale, right? Okay. And then there were many suggestions for a name, right? All of them amazing names, but a few of you guys have mentioned uh, Gene, short for Aubergine, and I love it so much. So, meet Gene. This is Gene. Yep. So Gene, <laughs> short for Aubergine. Love it. Okay. So, yeah. Back to business. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the blanket so far, friends, right? So I have 14 colors on here so far, 
And the goal here is, is I work the skein until it's done, and then I reach in the bag and I pick out another skein. If it's the same color, great. If it's not the same color, well, then we just change the color and we keep moving. So that's how we're doing this, friends. So let me just find, okay, perfect. And this is how I finish off. Just, you know, a little loop, nothing fancy or special. And then I just take my new yarn and I just tie it on there. I just do like a knot, just like this, nice and tight and all the things. Okay, so now that I'm hooked on, let me fix the camera because I want you guys to see what I'm doing. You can see my face and my crochet and my t-shirt. I've shown this before, but you know, it's my favorite t-shirt. My favorite crochet t-shirt, well, one of them anyway. I have like three of them now, three favorites. <laughs> I have all the favorites, friends. I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> I can't help it. I just, favorite, favorite, favorite. They're all favorites. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me reposition the camera and I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, friends, so I rearranged the camera. We're now at an angle so you can see all the things. And yeah, so here we are. Okay. Chip and Dale. Okay, focus one. <laughs> oh, my stars. Okay, so. Oh. Man, it was too good to be true. Stars and stripes. What is happening here? Let's fix this. I'm sorry, friends. I didn't expect a little bit of barf happening. Anyway. Okay, I'll fix this. In the meantime, I have some questions over here on my iPad. Okay. So the first question comes to us from, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I had it set up and then the screen moved and then, okay, here it is. So this comes to us from Stacy. So Stacy writes, hi Juan, I love your channel. I was watching the other day and I noticed how fast you are at crocheting and I've noticed others too that look like they are on fast forward but I still look like a snail. How do I get faster and still maintain accuracy? Well, Stacy, that's a very good question, but I'm going to be very frank with you. It doesn't matter how fast you go. Like, speed should not be a priority. Like, focus on accuracy, and then the speed will follow if you want it to. I admire those who take their time to make sure that their stitch definition is just right. You know, I go fast because I'm always in a hurry. Like, that cartoon... We were kids, I'm, and now I'm talking back in the 80s. Alice in Wonderland. You know that rabbit? Always running around, I'm late, I'm late, you know, and jumping in the, the rabbit hole and all the things. So that's me. Like, I'm always in a hurry. Um, and so, <laughs> I don't know why, it's just one of those things. I'm like, I'm racing with time. I'm like, how many rows can I get done before I have to leave the house to go to work? And so... Yeah. Or how many rows can I get done or rounds can I get done before it's time to go to bed? Because I, you know, I work on a very tight schedule. So I say all that to say, Stacy, it doesn't matter how fast or how slow you go. But if you're interested in getting faster, you have to rely on muscle memory. You have to loosen up your hands, let the hook do the work. If you you mess up, you mess up. It's okay. It happens. But in order for you to go faster, you have to let go. The more tense you are, the tighter your hands are, the slower you're going to find yourself going because you're trying to get everything just right. You know, if you ask others who crochet fast, they will tell you it's literally muscle memory. You know, you just let it go um, and see what happens. So, you know, if you are a tight crocheter, you know, try loosening up your hands a little bit, you know, and just let the hook do the job. Um, and that's kind of how I've always been. Just let the hook do what it needs to do in order for you to get the job done. But I say all this again to tell you that going fast, 
it's really not important. You know, crochet for the love of crochet. Looking at all the stitches and enjoying, you know, the process of making something with a hook, you know? So, but that's a very good question. Like, I don't put a priority on speed um, for other people. I do it to myself because, I mean, I'm a content creator. I have to have things to show. But then also, too, I live a very busy life, you know? I have a day job. I, I'm a caretaker, you know? I have other things on my plate as well. So with that being said, I'm like, okay, well, I have to produce. So in order to produce... I have to have timelines, I have to have, you know, goals with certain projects and things, so that's why I move fast, but I don't recommend it um, for every person, you know, as the norm, so yeah, very good question. Um, the next question comes from Norma, so Norma um, is a friend of the channel. I found this question from Facebook, my uh, my group. So my group is called Juan the Yarn Addict and Friends. It's a very, very positive, happy group. I'm really proud of all of the members in there. Um, we share our makes. We talk about all the things, yarn and crochet related. Um, you know. Anyway, let me get back on track. So Norma asks about a temperature blanket. So Norma says, what colors uh, would go well for a temperature blanket? Also, which stitches that would go well together without making the sides look crazy? Well, very good question, Norma. Last year, before I started the channel, I did a temperature blanket, and I did it in hexagons. Um, and I think I showcased it on the channel a while ago. If I can find that image, I'll put it somewhere next to me. If I can't, I'll show it in another video, but um, there are many, many uh, different approaches that you can take when you're creating a temperature blanket. First of all, you want to ask yourself, what are, you, what are you trying to accomplish? Like, are you doing the current year? Are you doing your birth year? Um, you know, what are your goals for your temperature blanket? How do you want to do it? You know, so a lot of decisions can be made based off of those, you know, questions being answered. So, um, for me, when I did my temperature blanket, I did mine in hexagons, and then each hexagon represented a week. So, the center represented the average temperature for that week, and then every row was the day, you know, so there was 10 rounds on each hexagon. And then um, I had 52 hexagons for the 52 weeks in a year. And then I stitched it all together. And the blanket was huge. I did that whole entire project with a 6 millimeter crochet hook. And I didn't think it would be as big as it turned out to be, but it was huge. As a matter of a fact, instead of showing you a clip, let me go to the makes room and get it. And I'm going to bring it in here and I'm going to show it to you. Um... So I can better explain what I'm about to say to answer your question, Norma, if you don't mind. So let me just pause this. <laughs> I'm going to pause you. I'll be right back with the blanket. Okay. One second. Okay, guys, I am back and I have the temperature blanket with me. These are the hexagons. And no, I didn't sew in any ends, friends. <laughs> Nothing was sewed in. But here is the blanket, and it is huge, my friends. So the first weeks of the year, cold, you can see they were represented by, you know, whites and blues. And then as the year progressed, it got hotter, because where I live, I see all four seasons. And the hexagon that has the purple was the week, or yeah, that was the week of my birthday, and I represented that with the purple. So, yeah, this is the blanket, and then towards the end of the year, as you can see, we're back to the lighter colors. So, this here, my friends, 
was actually 1979. These were the temperatures of the year 1979, which is the year I was born. So, yeah, I went to a website that had, you know, the temperature history, and I wrote down all of the uh, temperatures of the year. It was a lot of work, but I did it. And so, yeah, the centers of the hexagons were the average temperature of the week, and then that's how I did it. And then to do the join, this is how I do my granny squares, too. So I do a single crochet, chain two, single crochet, all the way around, and that's how I join it. And it's not complicated, it doesn't take me forever, it's very quick because it's a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So, my temperature blanket. Okay, I'm going to pause you, sit it down, and sit back down. <laughs> One second. Okay friends, so I am back. I put the temperature blanket away. I hope you guys enjoyed that and all of its imperfections. I'm leaving it just like that because I like it just like that. And yeah, I love that for me, right? <laughs> anyway, while I was putting it away in the makes room, I came across the blanket that I showed on the last video. So the OTCS uh, National Crochet Month Challenge, um, there was a portion in that video where I was to discuss like a throwback. So my throwback was the video of me uh, crocheting before the channel. So many of you guys have given me some feedback regarding that, all positive. And so, yeah, the question was, do you still have the blanket? Where is it? And all the things. So yes, I have it. It's right here. I'm going to show it to you. Here is the blanket. It consists of 32 colors, three rows of each color in the moss stitch, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, using a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. The yarn I used was Loops and Threads Soft Classic. Yes, I love this blanket. I actually made it twice. There are two of these. The first one uh, was actually given to a very good friend of mine. Her name is Katie. She subscribes to my channel, but we also used to work together. So, hi Katie. So, uh, long story short, um, I had a lot of health issues. You saw in the video, you clearly saw like I was not at my best. And um, if you haven't seen it, it's in the last video. Um, you'll see me holding up an iPad. And so I was basically explaining to whoever saw that video that yes, it's me, I crochet, because I had to hide this. I felt like I couldn't express myself the way I wanted to. Anyway. I'm trying to keep it Reader's Digest. <laughs> so anyway, I had all these health issues and I was work, 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 and I never took the time out to like take care of myself. So Katie like pulled me over to the side and she said, listen, I don't know what your story is. I don't know what's going on with you, but clearly something is up. I said, well, I'm a new widow. You know, isn't that enough? So I had a lot going on mentally physically, emotionally, I was a wreck, right? I was walking in a dark place every day. I saw no light coming out of the tunnel. I had lost the person that I was supposed to spend the rest of my life with. It was all, it was, yeah. So anyway, she said, I know you're going through all the things. We even said it back then too. She's like, I know you're going through all the things, Juan, but you need to take care of yourself right now. You need to shake this, whatever this is, you need to shake it off. And I said, try being in my shoes. Try going through what I just went through and see how you handle it. I don't think you can. I don't think anybody would want to. Anyway, she said, I hear you. And I know this isn't all you. I know this is your emotions talking and it's okay. Here's the number. I need you to call her. I already told her about you. And I said, well, what did you tell her? And I, she was like, I told the doctor, this is a doctor, I told the doctor that you're not well, that you need to be seen. You had a lot of things happen to you recently and you need to be seen. You're walking around with chest pains all day. You can't breathe. You're constantly coughing like you are not in a good place. So instead of arguing with her, I went ahead and I called. I set up the appointment. I went and the doctor said all the things that I didn't want the doctor to say. Like, so many things were wrong with me. I have, for the rest of my life, actually, I have a heart condition. So, you know, 
something's something happened so <clears throat> i have i take these pills and you know they're for my heart and also i found out that i was diabetic i found out that i have you know hypertension high cholesterol i mean the list was long you know all these things and it was all because i let myself go and um the doctor said don't worry we're going to get this all sorted out, but you need to take the time to take care of yourself. So she referred me to some therapists and things like that. So I was getting all the help that I needed because after <clears throat> I became a widow, I had, I felt like I didn't have anyone. So I was just a caretaker who worked day in and day out and that's all I did. And so I took the time out for some healing. I talk to therapists and work through all of that and saw all the doctors and you know, I'm still getting help. You know, I see a nutritionist. I still talk to my doctor regularly. I'm looking after myself the way that I should. And so, um, Katie saved my life. She saved my life because the doctor told me that if I continued on that path, I wouldn't have been able to see my next birthday. Um, in that video, I want to say you couldn't see it cause I had a huge blanket but I was at the heaviest I've ever been in my entire life. I was 473 pounds. And, you know, it's definitely something that I'm not proud of, but I was depressed. I, I had a lot of things happen in my life that caused me to just decline. And I think, you know, I wouldn't wish it on anyone else, but I would understand if they were in that predicament where they had lost their life person, like their person. And you know, you still had to carry on day-to-day -day responsibilities. Anyway, um, I wanted to show her my appreciation. And so the only way I knew how to do that was to pull her off to the side and say, listen, I crochet. Please don't laugh. Please don't make fun of me. Um, it's my release. It, and I told her the whole story between like, you know, how I started and who taught me. I told her all that. She gave me this huge hug and she was like, I think it's awesome. And once I got, you know, that grace from her and she just listened, she was a sponge and all the things I, I went to town, I was making the blanket and I said, I'm going to do a one for you and a one for me. We even said that back then. So I, I, you know, I wanted to show her something, you know, that I made and that she could keep forever to let her know how much I appreciate her and all the things. So once I made it, I gave it to her. She still has it. She cherishes it. She loves it. <clears throat> her and um, her husband, she's married and she's got uh, four boys. Anyway, I made the next one for myself. Same exact colorway, the, the whole thing. So that is the story behind this blanket. I don't have a name for it. I don't think everything has to have a name, but yeah. Um, she tells me, she's like, that should be called your lifesaver blanket. So yeah, maybe it should have a name, but I didn't name it. So that's the story behind this. Anyway, there's that. <laughs> so I decided I'm going to put a cap on the whip for right now because, um, I have happy mail that I need to open and yeah, I need to get to it friends. Okay, so some of it I've already pre-opened to kind of like save us some time. If there's still some time after the Happy Meal, I'll jump back into the whip because, I mean, honestly, friends, I love, love, love the way that this is working up. I just love it. I love the randomness of it. I'm enjoying it. But I want to put a pause on that. I want to open some of this up and show you what the audience is sending me, you know? So this first one here is Prime. I pre-opened it, but I want to show you this. <laughs> so this comes to me from Jen. Jen's a friend of the channel. She's a friend of mine. I've said her name before. You guys know. Anyway, the note says, Nancy was gifted a quirky tape holder, so I thought you should have one too. Enjoy. From Jen. So Nancy is Nancy from She's Got Yarn. She bags up yarn. She has a tape dispenser. It's it's funky. It's wonky. It's all the things. So she felt like I should have one. And look what she sent me. <laughs> oh, a squirrel tape dispenser. How adorable is this? Isn't this great? It's all the things. I love it. So cool. Thank you so much, Jen. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, the Three Musketeers. So cool. Thank you. Okay, this next one here. <laughs> Look. Cafe Bustelo. Coffee. Love it. So this note says, Hi Juan, I posted my brew style on Facebook. Add a stick of cinnamon for fun. From Michelle. Well, Michelle, little, little secret. Many, many moons ago, I drank this, but it has been years, and I forget what this tastes like. So I am curious to know. And you gave me three bricks, which is great. It's three times the fun. <laughs> okay. So thank you so much, Michelle. I appreciate you. Okay. And then this next one here. Ugh. <laughs> Look at this, look. Coffee. <laughs> I mentioned once or twice wanting to try new coffees and I'm getting all the coffees. I love that for me. Like, I'm serious about trying these coffees. I'm gonna put these on the wheel. We're gonna spin for them and all the things. It's gonna be great. So this is a 365 Whole Foods Market Pleasant Morning Buzz Vienna Roast. Okay, and my friends, this is a huge bag. This is 24 ounces. This is like one and a half pounds. It's huge. Anyway, this is, let's see. Sending you my favorite coffee, hopefully to save you a trip. Cheers, Lisa from Nurse, in, uh, Nurse Lisa in Ohio. Um, yeah, thank you so much, Lisa. That's cool because, listen, I think I'm going to love this. If you gave me a pound and a half of this coffee, that's telling me something. That is telling me that you love this coffee so much that you think I'm going to go through this whole thing, which I probably will, because I am a coffee addict. And then she sends these neck lights. So one in like a silver color and another one in purple. So I'm assuming that these are like one for you, one for me, like one for mom, one for me. So I'm gonna ask mom which one she wants. I could go with either one. I love gray, I love purple, right? We'll see what mom likes. I think she's gonna go with the purple. We'll see. Either one is great. And let's see. It says, how this helps see your stitches. I love your channel and thank you for all the things. Hugs from Ohio, Lisa from uh, Nurse Lisa in Ohio. So, thank you so much, Lisa. I appreciate you. And yeah, so yeah, the coffee and these two head, uh, neck lights, neck lights, right? Neck reading lights. They're perfect because that means even at night after I turn off the light and I should be sleeping, I could crochet a little more, <laughs> which is good. I mean, you know, a true addict. I love all the things. So thank you for that. And then here's one that I did not open yet. Let me pop this open very carefully. I don't know what this is yet. I don't know. Where's these? <laughs> okay, okay, so it says four ounces chocolate covered strawberry. Four ounces pumpkin pie. What? Um, four ounces blueberry pie. Four ounces of Michigan autumn. What? I don't. And then chocolate hazelnut. Is this what I think it is? <laughs> Hold on. There's a note. There's a note. Hold on. It says, enjoy these coffees from my favorite shop and let me know what you think. Pisky Oinker. Pisky Oinker. Yes. <laughs> these are coffees. <laughs> More coffee, friends. This is a coffee bonanza here. All the coffees. There's one, two, three, five different kinds of coffees here. Wow. Listen, Juan Valdez is going to be jealous, rolling around, saying to himself, I haven't ever thought about those kinds of coffees. 
Oh my goodness. Look at all of this coffee. All the different flavors. Blueberry, chocolate hazelnut, chocolate covered strawberry, Michigan autumn, pumpkin pie. Pisky oinker. I'm going to drink the coffees and tell you what I think. And it's going to be all the things. You'll see. You watch. It'll be all the things. <laughs> And then there's a business card here where I can order more if I'd like. So this is Team and Beverages, um, freshly roasted coffee and hand blended tea. And this is the Etsy shop. Teaman.etsy.com. Interesting. I'm going to check it out. Thank you so much, Pisky Oinker. You're the best. <laughs> coffee Bonanza. I got all the coffees. Love that for me. <laughs> oh. And these final two packages come from one person, and I knew these were coming. Um, so there's a little backstory to these packages. So my friend Deanna, Deanna Rose, um, she's been a friend of mine since day one. And she's my OG. She's my rock. I low-key adopted her as one of my family members. Um, I lean on her for advice and all the things behind the scenes. She's very special to me. Anyway, um, I was talking to her about this yarn, right? You guys know I love this yarn. Um, I'm currently looking for this yarn, right? It's hard to find. It's vintage variegated yarn. Red Heart with Love, Colorway Fruit Punch, right? I've been on eBay. I've been on Macari. I've been all over the place looking for this yarn. It's very hard to find. Anyway, um, she reached out to me recently and said, hey, Juan, I'm sending you some happy mail. Um, be on the lookout. When I have the tracking number ready for you, I'm going to send it. I'm like, okay, what exactly are you sending? She was like, um, hold that thought. So I guess like about an hour or so later, she reaches back out to me and she says, okay, um, just letting you know, a friend of mine wants to send you um, the yarn that you're looking for. And I said, what yarn? And she reminded me that. And so I said, okay, well, awesome. Like, sure. I, I'm not going to say no. Like, I'm looking for this yarn. And so, um, yeah, I got that. But to my surprise, she included a bunch of other things with it. So I did pop open the bag to, to see the yarn. And the one thing that I want to share with you guys is it's in the original bag. It has not been opened. So to me, this yarn, this is like a 67 Cadillac that's been left in the garage, but has been taken care of since day one. <laughs> nice and shiny, and there's nothing at all wrong. It's pristine. So yarns that are in the original package, and they're variegated and vintage and all the things, like this is perfect inside there. Love that. So, yeah. Thank you so much. And let me get the name of the person. Let's see. Okay, so first of all, I got a card, right? And on the back, she gives me the permission. You may use the name Deanna Rose. Thank you so much, Deanna. Appreciate that. Sometimes when I open this, I don't check for that first, and I should. Friends, if you get Happy Mail and you run a channel, make sure you look for that first. <laughs> should always get the okay first. Sometimes I make that mistake because I get so excited. Anyway, let's open up the card. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at those beautiful, beautiful pups. Gorgeous. Love that. So it says, Dear Juan, hello, my friend. Enclosed for you um, or for giveaways or for a couple of various items, uh, sweet pouches, which are there to protect your hooks, fruit punch for your projecting. Um, friend Janine has a YouTube channel uh, at On The Hook Crochet. She gave me the three skeins for you. Okay, so she's she's a channel here, friends. So she's got uh, a channel here. It's called On The Hook Crochet. Um, let me see. On The Hook Crochet with Jean. I hope I'm saying that correctly. It could be Jean. It's J-E-A-N-N-E. -N -N -E. So maybe it's Jean. Okay. So uh, big hug, Deanna. So I guess she left it over here. Inside, there's mini crochet hooks on the ring, which are used for knitting and picking up a drop stitch. And on the front, because I wondered, 
Um, on the front are her Goldens, Bentley and Bella. Absolutely gorgeous, and that photography is phenomenal. <laughs> I love it. It's so good. Isn't that great? Oh, my goodness. Adorable. I wish I had the time, because I would be an awesome doggy dad. I would. Oh, anyway, so we got the Fruit Punch with Love, okay? And let's see. We have some pouches here, which are awesome, right? So some of these will be giveaways, friends. Who knows? You know, come on Sunday. You'll see what's inside this, the, the bags and boxes or however we pack it up. You'll see. Um, you may find some of these things, but you won't find this bag. <laughs> I love the bag. I love it. It's a Hobie bag, but it's got um, the rainbow on here. It's got some pink, you know, got to have some pink. <laughs> okay, so let's look at this. So this looks like it is rainbow yarn, uh, Turkish cotton, 100% Turkish cotton. So this looks like it is a one weight yarn. Let me check. Yep, it is a one weight yarn. It's 50 grams, 170 meters, 186 yards. And they suggest a two and a half to a three and a half millimeter crochet hook, which is a US letter C to a letter E. And there's various colors in here, friends. Um, so Hobie Yarns, like a lot of their yarns don't have color names, they have numbers. So I'm just gonna call them what I think they are. So we have a grouping of pinks and then like a spring green, okay. We have a brown, right, a brown, and then we have like a wine, which is nice. So another spring green, and then we have like a medium pink, <laughs> and then a lighter pink. So one thing that I know about Deanna, she loves pink, and when she found out that I wasn't such a fan back in 23, she says, Juan, you're going to have to eventually embrace the pink. <laughs> it's just there. It's a color. And she's right. I'm, I'm going into 24, like embracing the pink. I've been making strides. If you've been watching my channel, you know this about me already. Anyway, um, I'm doing good so far. So now in here, I see our purples. So there's like a light, light powder purple. Awesome. Love that. And then we have a cream. It might even pass for like an, e no, not an e-crew, right? Just a cream. So that's cool. And then there's some darker shades of the light purple. So that's like super light. And then it almost looks like these are two different shades, these two, right? So three shades of purple there. Cool. And then we go darker with some more purples. You guys already know the purples, they have to stay. <laughs> I'm sorry, friends, I have to keep the purple. I'm in love with all things purple, you guys know that. So if it comes in this house, very rarely will it ever leave unless it's gonna be donated to someone for something. And then there's this variegated yarn, it's got tons of pink in this, but it's got purples and like a green, like a spring green. Well, maybe like a lime, right? So that's pretty. And then there's another cream there. So that's cool. And I am in love with this bag, friends. So for sure, I don't know. Yeah, this bag, yeah, I have to keep this bag. Yep, sorry. But the yarns, they may be up for grabs, friends. You'll see. I like to do surprises, you know? At least if you see it, you'll know where it came from, right? Thanks to Deanna. And yes, so, oh, and I also wanted to tell you if I, I think I'm having a scroll moment. <laughs> I'm not sure if I said this yet or not, but I'm looking at the Red Heart with Love in Fruit Punch. Um, GM. she's got a channel, description box, check her out. I'm gonna check her out. Give her a subscribe if she's good. I did hear things about her channel. I know she makes wearables. I know she walks around with a hook. I did hear that. 
you know, what's, what's on the hook. She talks about that. I do know that part. Um, I'm excited to check her out friends. Let's do that one together. Let's go look. Um, okay. So this next yarn is a, a, a flex yarn. That's cool. Let's look at the donut and see what's what. So this is Universal Yarn Deluxe DK Tweed Super Wash. That's gorgeous. This here is three and a half ounces at 100 grams, 284 yards, 259 meters. Super, super nice. And what is the recommended hook? Let's see, what is the recommended hook? Okay, here it is. So they're recommending a five millimeter crochet hook, US uh, letter H. Machine wash warm, tumble dry low. It feels good, friends. It really does. Yeah, it feels good. And is it, what's the makeup here? Let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, it is 90 super wash wool, seven acrylic and three viscose. And so Deanna sent us this, right? And I love the fact that she left the label inside the bag so I can like know what it is. And then there's this wound up ball, which I think is great. So to me, this is what I call like a teaser pack. So like I'll crack this open, I'll start working with it. And if I like it, it's gonna prompt me to go and find this and order more. So I love that because you know, why invest in a whole bunch of something? Because I don't like to buy one or two skeins of something. Can, can you tell? I like to buy groupings, If you know, so I like that she did this. So thank you so much, Deanna. Next, oh, look at this. So darning needles and then these little hooky hooks to like fix drop stitches like she was mentioning in the card. So that's cool. And then this little organza bag with stickers and more darning needles. This for sure will be in the giveaways. That. And then, ooh, look at this. Oh, squish. <laughs> it's so squishy. Oh my stars, friends. This is Viva La, uh, Vita Lana by Knit Crate, Dusk. That's this, and I love that she did this. I don't know if everyone does this, but this is so nice. Wrapping it up like a present. <laughs> I love that. So let's take a look and see what this is, because this is something that I've never felt before. I know this, like I've never felt this. So what is this? This here is 60% Hoyakaya alpaca, 40% Suri alpaca, it is a DK weight, 231 yards, 100 grams, hand wash gently, uh, dry flat, custom made in Peru exclusively for knit crate. And so the name here is Sanguini. That is beautiful. This is lush. This is lush. Lux. <laughs> Uh, I'm pulling out the fancy words. This is lush. This is luxe. This is all the things. And I love the bag that it's in. I'm getting spoiled here. Love this. This is something I've never had before. And guess what? I can now say that I have touched alpaca. 100% alpaca. And it is so good. It's so soft. Love that. Okay, and this one here, friends, okay, full disclosure, like I said, I cracked this open earlier. I was speechless when I saw this yarn, okay? Now, before I show you, okay, I talked about the Wancho Poncho, okay? The prototype and the pattern is already done. Like, I have the recipe, it's written down, but it's in um, Aaron yarn, so I have no colorway chosen, none of that. So when I do my swatches and things, I use plain, plain yarns. I don't use any colors. It's literally just to get the stitch count correctly and the design right, you know, all that. Anyway, this here might be what I'm going to use for that project for me. Look at this yarn. 
This is Barocco Sesame. I'm in love with this. Look at this. Is this not all the things? Are you kidding me right now? I mean, look at this. It's got flex. It's got all the colors. <sighs> this is perfect. I looked at this and I got goosebumps. I'm like, this is, this is something, this is, you know, we all have that. We look at something and we're like, ooh, 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 yes, I'm making something with that. And I know what I'm making. This is the Wancho Poncho, hands down. I hope they haven't discontinued this. I hope that they still have this. This is 43 wool, 39 acrylic, nine cotton, nine nylon. They recommend a four and a half millimeter crochet hook, US number seven. It is a medium four weight yarn. And there is three and a half ounces, 100 grams. It's 230 yards, 210 meters. The care instructions are, let's see, it says to place the garment in a mesh bag, machine wash separately in cold water on delicate cycle, lay flat to dry. It's okay, it's a poncho. You know what I mean? It's not a shirt that I'm gonna wear every day. It's the Wancho Poncho and it's in all the colors and I love this. And then it looks like Deanna caked up, you know, the other one. So caked up, this is what it looks like. And it's got bits and bobbles of purples, greens, blues. It's got everything in that. Flex. And then the yarn itself, I mean, look at that. It's so good. It is so good. I'm like, wow. And I've never crocheted with Barocco yarn yet in my life. Now, I've gotten it in mystery boxes and things, but it's still in the other room. I've never started a project with it. I've never worked with this, but I just know I need to make that with this. Yep, that's a thing. But if you follow that, feel free to use whatever you'd like, okay? You don't have to buy this or get this, you know? I want you guys to make anything that I create with whatever you have. Don't buy yarns just because, you know, I am creating something, you know? If you do, that's your, that's on you, but that's nothing I would suggest, you know? Someone asked me the other day, they were like, um, for your all the things throw, um, what kind of yarn should we buy? I'm like, don't buy any yarn, use your stash. Some of our stashes, guys, have amazing colors, right? Because we bought them in the first place because we like them. So why not use the stash? We all have it. We all have, whether it's a bag or a box or a bin, we all have stashes. So why not? Anyway, this next situation here. Um, let me see. Hold on. Hold that thought, friends. Okay, let's do, let's do this one. So this one here is Heritage Prints. This is 75% superwash, 25 nylon, Cascade Yarns. It is a super fine number one. It's 100 grams, 437 yards. Um, they recommend a 2.75 to a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Machine wash cool, tumble dry cool. Well, I like the fact that you can wash it and dry it even though it's on cool. And even though I don't work with one weight yarns, I know that this would work up so good with like an e-crew or like a charcoal, run those together, like a DK weight with this, it would be all the things. And then there's a caked up piece here. So that's cool. Very nice. And let me see here. Okay. And then there's these fingerlings from Hobie's. This is definitely going into one of the giveaways, fingerling cotton. So it's an eight slash eight mini. I believe this it's four weight. No, it's three weight. Yep, it's a three weight um, cotton, and each one is ten grams, zero point three five ounces. It's fifteen meters or sixteen yards. So it's just little itty bitty things, you know, to get a taste of it. But it's got all the colors of the rainbow. Love that. So nice. And then we have, let's see, Premier Anti-Peeling Bamboo Chunky in the colorway Plum Sorbet. 
So we have three bags here, and we have three bags here. It's purple, friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna check the stash. If I have this already in my stash, then I will put these up for giveaways. If I do not have them for stash, then what I'm gonna do is a one for me and a one for you, okay? We have to share the lush, yummy yarniness and all the things. So next we have Premier Coffee Shop. And can I just tell you that I have been looking for this and every time I go online to order this, they're always out of stock. This particular colorway. Deanna had no idea about this. I didn't really tell her this, but this is beautiful. It's called Sundown. Look at that. It just gives me that like vintage vibe. Um, this could also be the Wancho Poncho too. Let's see what it's made of. Hold on. Um, it's 85 acrylic 15 wool. Maybe. Oh, decisions. Barocco Sesame or Premier Coffee Shop. I'll have to sit and think about this and see what's available. But this here um, is a light three weight yarn. It's 284 yards. It's 260 meters. Three and a half ounces at 100 grams. Premier Coffee Shop in the colorway Sundown. They recommend a 4.25 millimeter crochet hook, otherwise known as a USG. Full disclosure, if I do wind up working with this, I'm using a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. I, I'm not gonna, it's too small. Um, machine wash, warm, lay flat to dry. So cool. And she sends a sleeve of three. Super nice. And there is, let me see here. Give me one second. Okay, last but not least, there's this. Let's see, what is this? Oh, this is soft. Hold on. Audeen Wools. I have some of that. Look, Audeen Wools. Okay, okay, okay. So this is called Bloom. Audeen Wools Bloom. And the name here is uh, Nasturtium. Nasturtium. N-A-S-T-U-R. Nastur. Nasturtium. 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 It's 80 alpaca wool, 10% silk, and 10% camel. So we have alpaca, silk, and camel in this. What the what? This is so squish, so lush. <laughs> Look, squish. It's DK weight, 231 yards, 211 meters, 100 grams, Hand wash gently, lay flat to dry. Made in Peru, all Audin wool yarns are made exclusively for knit crate. They recommend a US number seven uh, to an I9 crochet hook. And yes, this is all the things. I'm assuming this is hand wash, lay flat to dry because obviously look at what's in it. We have camel and silk and alpaca wool. Yeah. This is probably, you know, hand wash, lay flat to dry, and all the things. But what I like about this, it looks, look at this. This is interesting. I don't know if you can see that. Just the way that it's made. Love that. And there's three in there. So, that wraps up the Happy Mail that Deanna sent me. And she you know, suggested that maybe I share the yarns with you guys on giveaways and things, which I very happily will. Um, you know, you have to share this stuff, you know? There's other people out there like me that's like, wait, I've never touched camel before. I don't know what alpaca feels like, you know? It would be awesome to receive, receive that, you know? So I for sure will be sharing this um, and giveaways, you know, but there are some things that I do want to keep. I'm going to tell you that right now, that Barocco, I have to keep that. <laughs> the coffee shop, I have to keep that. The purples, eh. the cottons, eh. I'm going to share. We're going to share and we're going to do all this together, you know. But my friends, I had a great time with you guys today. We talked about all the things. I've shown you some awesome happy mail.
Um, Deanna, thank you so much, friend. I really appreciate all of this lush yarn that I get to share with all of my viewers and things. So thank you for that. Um, special shout out to Gian for this. I mean, seriously, I've been on the hunt for this forever. And all of the wonderful people, Michelle, Jen, um, the pesky oinker, um, all of you guys, thank you guys all for all of the happy mail. I mean, where would I be without you guys? I wouldn't be much of a channel, would I? Um, so humble beginnings, stay humble. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me for this whole hour. I think we're almost at an hour, right? Nope, 55 minutes. It's long enough. <laughs> I really enjoyed our time, friends. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're, you know, if you enjoyed this, if you're not subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Hopefully I've earned your subscription. You know, I want you guys to all hang out and have fun with me. And then of course, hit that notification bell to stay updated with me and my channel. So that's all for me for now. And until the next one, friends, I'll see you. Bye. Take care.